Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Farah Khan, product designer work in London. In this video, we're gonna talk through some of the simplest and easiest ways to build your design portfolio so you can focus on landing those job interviews. We're gonna walk through really simple solutions such as just having a portfolio built in Figma. We're gonna look at Framer Sites, Medium, and Webflow. So without further ado, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna look at is Framer Sites, which is a really simple way for creating static websites. It's a brand new tool, still in beta when I've made this video. And the way it works is you have your canvas here and everything inside your canvas, you can publish as a static website within a click of a button. So it's really simple to use. And I've done some live streams showcasing this for me building a portfolio. Once you get the hand of learning this, you can build sites really quick and easily and perfect for making your portfolio and it's definitely something I recommend checking out. So I'm going to showcase some websites that I've been building during my live streams using Framer sites. So let's dive straight into Framer sites on the desktop app and discover and unpack how easy and simple it is to publish a static website. And the first thing I'll say is really similar to Figma in the sense that you have your frame here and you follow principles like you can create components which you can reuse throughout your website. You have all your layer names and you have on the right hand panel here all your styles you can create textiles that you can use throughout your actual frame of site as well as components and the stacks are similar to auto layout and these make it really easy to build a more responsive website by using stacks it's something i learned a little bit later down the line and it helps so much so let's just quickly see what this looks like when you press play it just replicates the desktop experience so here we just press play and this is the static website I'm building for my portfolio so it's super simple you just add your text layers and inside the frame and you've got your static website here you can have those micro animations reload it and you've got the little slide in something that might be more complex to do if you was coding this yourself and you can add that little extra delight to your portfolio with ease and here we've got again these images and we scroll down we've got some resources and we've got different pages so i've got a shop page that i'm trying to build as well something that i guess i'm launching in the future hopefully towards the end of this year so keep your eyes peeled i'm hoping to help make some workshops to make it easier for people to pass the design interview and the websites are responsive i guess for this instance here, we need to work more for the shop on making this responsive. But when we go to the home page, you can see that I've worked on the responsiveness here as well. So it's definitely something that you need to follow some good principles of using stacks on how to make the website responsive, but it's super easy to get started inside Framer. So this is Framer Sites, it's in beta, highly recommend giving it a go and it allows you to just focus more on the content which is way more important when it comes to your portfolio and you can create something with really quick ease and really simply and really, I guess it's really fast once you learn the principles and I guess you just don't have to use this to create your portfolio, you could try and make in other websites with this as well. So that's Frame of Sites in a nutshell. The link is in the description below and you can check out this website I'm building as well. And when you publish the website, it gives you a Framer URL, but then you have to, one caveat is pay for this to set up a custom domain. It does look more professional though. So next up, we're gonna look at Webflow, which is another no-code website building tool. In my opinion, more complex than Framer Sites. However, there's way more resources. There's Webflow University and free courses, which Webflow have made and tutorials on how to learn to use the product. So it's more established than Framer Sites, but a tiny bit more complex to learn. So again, you have to pay a subscription fee when publishing these websites on these SaaS products, but let's get a bit of an overview here. So Webflow, I suppose one thing that is, helps is having a bit of knowledge on how to use HTML and CSS. They follow less principles compared to transferring from a design tool like Figma. It's more really understanding how to use things like divs, columns, and containers, which are more HTML based 
principles but it is a lot more reliable and you have more flexibility and control of what you want to try and achieve here and to me i guess learning webflow will it still be here in three or four years time i'm not sure even in five years time will it still be relevant so you're learning more how to use this product and there's a higher barrier to entry and i guess that's a big caveat to this product but it is reliable and loads of designers have used this we have an example of this website i'm building here with webflow and i'm trying to just work out how to get the containers here work properly comparing this to framer sites which i suppose is a lot quicker to use but it's more buggy because of the fact that they don't force you to use things like containers and sections and then you end up with a more buggy website and it's harder to debug whereas having stricter stricter guidelines in webflow it's easy to understand what's going on once you follow and understand these principles so there's a caveat to both of these again products and you have to pay these monthly subscription fees and whether or not they'll still be relevant in a few years time is another thing but when it comes to building a portfolio you just want to do this as quick as possible and get out of the box and get those interviews going and training that interview muscle but that is webflow i recommend it again it's a high barrier to entry but for me it's way less buggy easy to understand and there's lots more tutorials online compared to framer sites so next up we're going to look at probably one of the simplest ways of creating a design portfolio and go straight into your case studies and that is using medium and i've seen a few designers use medium it's not the most popular way of creating a portfolio but it works and i've got a friend that's created a portfolio at medium and he works at google so let's look at his case studies for an example and what's great is look you're just focusing straight on the case studies which is the most important thing you're not focused on how to learn to use the tool there's little barrier to entry to understand how to use the text editor in medium so you can go straight and have your own landing page and you go straight with your case studies here and this is literally what you need really in a portfolio is straight to the point have your case studies built out your images and it's super accessible as well and you don't have to worry about all these responsive design device sizes for mobile medium does all of that for you and i guess it's just a really super accessible way of getting other people to look at your work as well because medium is quite a hub for design resource and knowledge and a lot of people still use it till this day so it's a good way of just getting more traction to your profile as well so it's a different way of creating a portfolio it's not about learning to code or making fancy designs for your website it's just about getting your case studies done out there straight away and you can get straight to those interviews and like i said it does work that friends that again work at google and they use this to land their interviews there as well so that is medium link in the description hopefully that gives you some inspiration and a different take on making a design portfolio so the last thing we're going to look at which is probably the easiest out of all the solutions and the whole point of this video is easy ways to make a design portfolio and that is making your figma designs into an interactive prototype and then you share the url on your web pages such as linkedin your twitter or when you're submitting applications across so we've got examples here where we've got a mobile prototype for the portfolio and as you can see like it does replicate and i don't really encourage voice to do a mobile design for this if you're really getting someone to view this on desktop a lot of the time but it does work and it just allows you to reduce that barrier to entry hoping the chances are you will be pretty intuitive in using a tool like figma and creating a prototype doesn't take too much time and you can use cool things like smart animate to give off some pretty cool effects as well here's another example of a portfolio that's made using figma as a prototype so this is a prototype in link and you can see this little micro animations with smart animate here and this is Anastasia's portfolio and it just works really well in Figma as a prototype. It reduces that barrier to entry. You've got your case studies here and you can basically 
just go straight and away with the interview and then concentrate on that. But then I suppose going to that next level of converting this into a frame of sight isn't hopefully too much more to ask for. So it's about finding that balance and it's way more scalable having like a frame of sight or a Webflow website. And in my opinion, I'll probably push more for that direction. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope it's given you some inspiration of what tool you should be using to build your portfolio with a lot more confidence and ease. So you can really focus on landing that design job that you deserve. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for future design related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite platform you like to use for creating portfolios. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.